now you're back home in I Cape am. Town. Yeah. How does it feel to be back? It's good. It's cold, but um, <laughs> but uh, well, you know, flying in, it's always just like like I was saying earlier. Um, mm. No matter how you know what city or what place I I travel to, and I, you know, I, I fall in love with it the minute I walk with the plane. Like a month or two down the line, like you know, like I just want to go home. You know, but yeah. um, I'm, I'll, Cape Town always is just for me is just the most favorite place on mm -hmm. earth, and. Uh, I've been away for four months, so this is like really, it's just like You're exhale. Back. Yeah, yeah. It's really good to be home. Now tell me, when can we expect new music from you? Well, um, I was actually supposed to be re releasing an American release um, this year in April, mm -hmm. but then I had to go to Asia, so I've had to postpone that. So hopefully, well, hopefully I'm going to release it at the end of the year in the States, and then it's not an album, it's just going to be an EP, just a okay. couple of new songs. Um, and I'll hopefully re release in South Africa early next year. But as far as a full-length album, I'm writing, um, but I haven't really put myself yeah. under pressure with like a deadline or anything. So when it's ready, it's ready. So could be could be a couple of months, could be two years. You know. We'll <laughs> now, what what can we expect from from the EP? Is it going to be quite similar to the to the last album? Um, I don't think so. Mm. I mean, it's me, yeah. but that's as similar as it gets, I guess. But uh, that was all recorded in New York, mm. and um, and I had uh, the same producer who produced my full-length album yeah. before that home, and so we knew each other very well, and we really get along. And I flew over there to work in his studio, and uh, it's a beautiful little studio, and and yeah, it's it's it's, it's a band. It's not just me and my guitar. So um, and I was working with some really incredible musicians as well. So I, I think it's a little bit bigger. Uh, like a little bit more production th mm. than my, my older stuff, but uh, but again, like you know, I always try to reinvent myself with any new projects I, I do. I don't want to kind of sound like the, the last thing I did. So. Yeah, of course. So then no one would want to listen to it. Yeah, and I, no, I'm also <laughs> not changing it for the sake of changing it. But yeah. it's, you know, like I was in New York and that was my headspace. So mm. so that's kind of rubbed off on 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 the sound that I that that came out of that EP. Tell me about being in that New York headspace and and recording there. Um, what what was really your inspiration when you wrote and recorded these two songs? Well, I went there unprepared on purpose. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to r write and record everything in New York City. So I went there without, like, forcing myself not to think about what mm. I was going to write about or anything. I was wa waiting till I was going to get there, and I wanted to do the whole cliche. That must have been so hard. It was. I've never done it before, uh, and also like the whole cliche, like I wanted to get the cup of coffee and sit in the like coffee stores and with my notebook and write. You yeah. Know? And I did it maybe three times, and I was like, this, this is like the most cliche thing I've ever done <laughs> in my life. And I just threw away everything I wrote, and, and I went home, and I did it like normal in my bedroom, you know, by myself. <laughs> and um, yeah, but uh, like New York City is like, it's like walking, I mean, I've been there so many times, but it's still like, it's like walking through a movie, you know, it's, it's just like it's a different level of uh, inspiration as far as like mm -hmm. what I'm writing about you know like the people are obviously different the way of life the just the way people carry themselves the way they speak mm -hmm. you know everything about it is just it's New York and it's uniquely New York and um, yeah so for me it, it was a little bit difficult to kind of do in the beginning for the first two weeks I hadn't written a thing and then um, were you getting a little bit scared I was nervous? getting very nervous because I was kind of writing for the sake of writing as well mm -hmm. and as soon as I do that like that's I like yeah. I, I just I just stopped so but then it just clicked you know like I got mm. into my routine and then and I was also um, the studio was in Queens I was staying in, in Brooklyn mm. and it's a bit of a, a mission on the train there and but it's a beautiful it's a beautiful ride on the subway yeah. and because um, it, it goes underground and then to get to Queens it goes overland so you can see the whole city and everything and um, the, the actual studio I was recording in um, is called The Buddy Project. And like one of my all-time favorite albums ever released by a guy called Sofian Stevens. Mm. An album called Illinois was recorded in the same studio. I saw you made a Facebook yeah, post. Yeah, I'm like, it's like my favorite album on earth. Yeah. And it was recorded in this tiny little, tiny little studio. It's, it's, like, it's like one little room. So the energy in there for me was like super exciting. So as soon as I was in the studio, it just kind of, you know, and I had the studio to myself for like two months. So that sounds incredible. Yeah, I thought it was mm. good. We had a lot of late nights, you know, drinking some beers and writing and recording, and it was, it was a really great experience. Now, after your Johannesburg shows with Ben Howard, can we expect some more performances? Yeah, I'm going to do a couple. Mm. Um, yeah, 
I'll, I'm going to post them all. I'm not going to do a lot. I'll probably do about three or four, I think. Um, I'll do maybe a couple, like two or three here, and I'm, I'm going to probably fly back to Joburg again mm. at some point and do one or two there as well. So definitely going to do some shows. I, I, like, just, I cannot wait to play to a home audience again. Yeah. Like, I really cannot wait. And also, you know, playing with Ben Howard is just a, the biggest bonus ever. So I have to ask you, you said your best show was Kirsten Bosch on your birthday last mm. year. Did you have a birthday cake also? I don't know why I want to know that. Um, did I have a birthday cake? I don't think, I don't think so. I had, a, I had like a sandwich platter, if that counts. Okay, that does <laughs> kind of count. But there's a note to your friends watching. You need a birthday cake on your birthday. Birthday cake on my birthday <laughs> on stage while I'm playing. Yes. Perfect. Make that happen this Done year. Deal. I'll make it happen. <laughs> Fair, that's really great to have you home. Thank Let you. Let us know how we can follow you online and find out where you're going to be playing next. Cool, just uh, feralpurkus.co.za and uh, that'll have links to everything. So Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff and all the shows will be there and hopefully see you at one of the shows.